His name's Nathan. His name is Nathan. I am as tired as you look, Brian. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking saving, exhausted. I, I'm staying tired until we start. So this is my not started face. We're we're broadcasting. Hello, right everybody. <laughs> I'm not tired at all. Welcome to episode six hundred and two. It says one fifty nine. I feel like that's not right. That is right. I okay. Think we're, are you sure it's not two hundred and ten? No, it's it. Well, after after we release uh, sixty one minute episodes, we'll be at uh, two hundred and twenty. Whatever whatever muse is at, we need to have an episode that long and split into one minute episodes just to catch up because mm-hmm. it's bullshit that they padded their number. And and we also have to spam the front page of muse on minis dot yeah. com like <laughs> with like, ninety updates, like ninety updates, all featured updates of the same episode. Brought out. Dun, 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 dun. It's not like any other podcast does that. It's exciting. My name <laughs> is Brian. My name is Nathan. My name is Andy. Woo! And we are as well all Triple System. And he was whispering something. I, my name is Will Hunkerford. Oh. I'm Will Hunkerford. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Louisiana. Yeehaw. It's <laughs> <laughs> more Texas than Louisiana. Yeah, he's dumb. You got- <laughs> Cut out that bit and I can email it to him and he can use it as his new uh, like message ringtone on his phone. <laughs> there in, are indeed only three of us, uh, Cal... Some Calrian. Calrian. That was a flawless Will Hungerford impression. It was. It's almost... You know who I really miss? We, we really miss uh, that that really terrible Jeremy. From, <laughs> you know, far away. This Swedish Muslim Jeremy. Yes. I do miss him greatly. He yeah. calls me every so often, leaves me voicemails. But other than that, I don't, and I haven't, you know, heard from him in a while. He's like, "Hey, ber, be, be, ber. I don't do a really good impression of him. I really but. wonder if he'll ever get a Guantanamo though, because he's been there for a while. <laughs> for Obama a was while. supposed to shut it down, but Obama didn't. They actually said, except for him. Yeah, like all the paperwork's there. They're letting everyone except for him go. Yeah, poor, poor. You guy. lied to me. There are biscuits in here. Why did you only get one biscuit? There's three of us. I had I a about massive, it. I had near Gizian willpower, and I did not get six no, additional biscuits. I would have had to resist one because I ate too much yesterday, so yeah. I would have been like a can of a biscuit. Then I would have cried. I would have wept blood. I thought about, I thought about telling Nathan to bring a six pack of biscuits, and then yeah. I would pay for those. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know. Well, I just figured out how to link map my run with my fitness pal so it mm-hmm. automatically puts my exercise in there and it turns out walking my dog gives me like 400 extra calories yeah my fitbit links to my uh fitness pal too like, fitness pal has all these really cool link things with their programs it's pretty sweet it because i've been trying to stay with my normal goal and i haven't even been putting exercise in there now i see yeah. that walking my dog is like 400 calories because i go about two and a half miles yeah and if i've been underselling myself by 400 calories how am i not ripped yet how am I still fat? So I read a thing. Am I like starvation mode? Am I too little calories? No, I read something that's really depressing. And I'm not, this is, I'm not just saying this applies to you. Are we but just endomorphic? Are no, we never I have be a weight thing I learned last week that was really depressing for people who are overweight who lose weight. If you are overweight for a really long time and you lose weight, even if, let's say you normally eat 3,000 calories a day and you get yourself in shape and you're down to like the, the you know, 2,000 and that's what, you know, you're, you're in shape and you're at 2,000 calories. Your, meta, your, your simple metabolism gets fucked up, mm-hmm. and even though you're at the 2,000 calorie, your body actually treats you as like 20, as, as, you have to eat like less calories. Your body's, your metabolism is, is really slow and fucked up. So where you're, you're healthy and you should eat 2,000 calories, actually you should only eat 1,500 because your body's fucked up. That happened to all the biggest loser contestants. Like, they, like five, three or four or five years later, they still have to stay like 500 calories under their daily normal for their weight because they're so fucked up because how they lost the weight. Yeah. Now they are more fucked up because they lost the weight so fast. And biggest loser just fucks them up so Correct. hard. Like that's the don't do anything they do. It's Correct. terrible. But even but anyone who loses weight and a lot of weight, I think I think your metabolism does get fucked up for quite a few years. So even if you think you're eating well for my weight, I should have 1500 calories and I'll never gain weight. Well, maybe you'll probably gain weight because you're you're fucked up metabolism. It's just another way the fucking man's trying to get you. Fuck you, fatness. I, I read that, so then I ate a donut. I was like, take that. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you science. That is orange drink. Yeah. That is that is orange soda. Yes. I, I did not lie to you about the flavor <laughs> soda I got you. Yeah. First of all, if you're really if you're out of shape, walking two miles can be four hundred calories. Uh, trust me. When I look at the treadmill, like, I put in my weight, and it's like for a, for a four like for a workout for forty five minutes, I burn like seven thousand calories. Someone in shape burns like seventeen calories. So there's definitely a weight calorie burn based on your weight, based on like what you do. Well, because I'm carrying a hundred pounds extra over that skinny fucker. Right. So hey, skinny fucker, put a hundred pound knapsack on your back and walk two miles and see how sweaty you are. Yeah. <laughs> 
it is interesting though because I yeah it's just uh, not that I want to ramble about I, I could ramble about like what it's well, always fun I've when seen... fat guys talk about weight loss. It's, it's 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 my least favorite. Spoiler: If I don't remember what my original recommendation was, yeah. my recommendation is going to be weight loss related. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that, that's something I've seen uh, like videos uh, of like guys or people that have lost like a ton of weight. They go and actually put like actually like backpack and other stuff yeah. onto the body so they can actually feel what that was yeah. again. I mean, it's well, I've it's you know, yeah. I mean, Nathan, Nathan lost a good chunk of weight. I'm trying to lose a big chunk of weight. I mean, it's yeah, even like you know, it's it's it's, it's different. It was 331 calories. I rounded up, so you gotcha. know, sorry, <laughs> sorry, internet guy who's trying to get you. <laughs> but uh, all right, I don't use the treadmill. I use the elliptical. Thank you very much. Announcements. Uh, announcements. As much as arguing with that guy is. is this weekend. Yay, MomCon. Everyone, this weekend. This weekend coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, this coming up weekend. This Saturday. This Friday. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, me and Jordan, local Jordan and Dan, are playing in the team tournament. Uh, Keith and Green and some random guy whose name I can't, I can't remember are like the mega team to beat. Speaking of you and Jordan, I need to ask you something when we're done recording. Speaking of asking people stuff when we're done recording, Andy, I need to ask you something when we're done <laughs> recording. So the two of you need to remind me that Hope I need to ask the two of you things to, to do. The chat remind us at the end that Nathan has to ask us. After something. we're not recording anymore, remind me to ask them. Or stuff. when we're in recommendations, <laughs> someone will be like, oh, by the way, Nathan, don't forget to tell this guy something. Also, remind me what my recommendation was going to be because I can't remember. <laughs> Not very helpful the, at all. the best reward for weight loss when you're really heavy and you get really skinny is you get all loose skin and you look worse. Yeah. I've seen a guy lose a lot of weight and I looked at him and he with shirt off and I almost wanted to vomit. I'm like, congratulations, you look more repulsive than you did when you started. I saw a guy who was like Schwarzenegger bodybuilding days yeah. ripped. Like he just totally turned his life around and it was just like stuff hanging off of him. And it's like, That's man, like, that is a that is not fair. That's just going to the doctor. Like, cut this off of me. I don't care what well, that, kind of money I have to give you, doctor. Just fucking make this go away, or I'm eating yeah. donuts. Either, or that, or I'm going to eat a bunch of donuts to fill it back up. <laughs> right. I'm not taking the saggy loose skin shit. Cause that is like, that is just terrifying. Well, that's some of the big issues of of such a drastic weight loss, though. Too is you do have that skin. I mean, if you go s slower in a sense, it's not going to be. Yeah, it's not as it's, ridiculous. Let's take scissors to it. I sure. <laughs> honestly, versus what it looks like, that is like a logical sound. Okay, just take this flap, scissors, scissors, stitch, stitch, and then just like make hats or something out of it. So, uh, lampshades is a, is yeah. a valid thing for skin. I mean, that's, that's a Wisconsin work. tradition. Yeah. <laughs> sex slaves and lampshades. Woohoo! I don't remember the sex slaves. Well, that was Dahmer. That was, that was Dahmer. Oh, okay. That was what he was like, trying to do. If we're getting into the you know the mass murderer type guy, Ed, Ed loss, Dean killed murder. a surprisingly small number of people. He was just very efficient with the uh, he, was, no, he was most he was of more the corpses. He, he was a grave yeah, robber yeah, more. Yeah, like yeah. the ninety something percent of yeah. the skin he stole was from corpses that he just dug up. Which, you know, Why I mean, I they're not this? using it. <laughs> what? Why do I know this? Yeah. Well, because you know. Wisconsin trivia. It's, 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 it's in our history class. You know, some people talk about, you know, world history. We talk about our mass murderers. You have to, you know. We have enough of them. Yeah. For anybody. We get bored. Anybody out there that is kind of, like, interested in the weird Wisconsin things, go check out, I, I think it's called Wisconsin Death Trip. Okay. Not, not Static X, the, the album, but Wisconsin has got, like, a large history of just weird, evil death things. Sure. Now someone's giving us advice how to do a loose skin, whatever MSN is. Ten thousand milligrams of uh, it was uh, what was it? Microsoft Network. Yeah, the, the I old can't email. tell if it's a serious request because that would kill somebody. I, I don't even know. Like five thousand grams of vitamin C seems like a lot. Uh, MG, that's probably a different milligrams. Yeah, it's not as bad as I first. No. Read. Speaking of milligrams of vitamin C, fuck Airborne, that bullshit placebo. I hate it, and I hate that they make a bajillion dollars a nanosecond, and I hate the stupid boxes made by a school teacher. So who the fuck cares? I'd rather have something made by a doctor. Like, just because you teach remedial English as a substitute teacher in fourth grade doesn't mean you can invent fucking medicine. So boosting your immune system doesn't mean a fucking thing. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. You know who has a boosted immune system? I do. Because my, my, my immune system attacks my own skin. Well, that means it does something. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's, yeah, it's it's such a I mean so dumb yeah stupid it's like fucking uh, not hydroponics that's the plant stuff what's the other stupid thing where they dilute medicine like you put an aspirin in the in the Pacific Ocean and that makes it stronger uh, fucking 
Ah, uh, what's it called? Words. Words. What is wrong with you? You can't remember anything Words. today. Are you, are you like all time? All timer? Who am I? Why all am I here? All the time. All the time. No, the fucking somebody in the chat will remember now. It's 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 Ooh. it's one of those. It's one of the more common, terrible, stupid, fake homopathia. Homopathy. Homopath. Homopathy. Homeopathy. Homeopathy. So anytime you see like homeopathic medicine and stuff like that, the the quote unquote science, by which I mean complete bullshit that stupid people believe, is that the more you dilute medicine, the stronger it gets, <laughs> because that's the exact opposite of how things work. Wait, what? So no, they're like so yeah. because atoms have memory. So mm -hmm. if you have one aspirin, it's as strong as one aspirin. But if you dilute it in 10,000 gallons, every single atom of that water is as strong as the original aspirin was. So you just made it 10,000 times stronger. And so you'll see this medicine with massively sarcastic air quotes where it's like one part per billion. That's how strong this is. You mean it's fucking useless and it's $20 a pill because stupid white hippies will buy it. Somebody doesn't understand math. It's. It, I mean that. Yeah, no, it's that's how it works. Or, or how mass works. You know, this this thing is. Yes, you spread it out, yeah. but it's. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking stupid. These are the same stupid people who think that uh, <laughs> vaccinations cause autisms and quartz will, quart crystals will heal you. What? <laughs> oh, if this podcast gave you cancer, don't worry. Just get some homeopathic airborne, and you'll be fine. Should we do a, a early as early as that, or should we say that somebody just threw a question off for us? Mm. Hmm, hold on. No, we'll save it. We have announcements and shit. Announcements. Well, speaking of speaking of uh, of Alzheimer's. Yeah. Alzheimer's. <laughs> did you hear about uh, Will Ferrell? Does he have Alzheimer's? No. That'd be sad. Like, no. He spoiler. Was, oh, I'm he he was spoiler. he was going to do a biopic of oh Reagan. Reagan. Yeah, as a comedy. His, as a comedy in his you know his his yeah. later years of, of his Alzheimer's. I heard he was going to be Reagan. I, I thought he was going for more of a dramatic. No, role. it was going to be a comedy. It was like wacky, wacky. I sure have Alzheimer's. They got canceled. I think it's yes. <laughs> it was, I think it was announced and then it was canceled the same day. It, it that's just horrible. Well, I, it's such. I a, thought it was going to be like a serious thing when I first saw it. One interesting thing that I didn't. That's hilarious. You know, because we talk about Alzheimer's and it's this weird like mystery disease, and I saw a, a little public service announcement thing starring uh, the ninth doctor and he was talking about how recently they've shown that people who have Alzheimer's their brains weigh about as much as an orange less than people who don't have Alzheimer's hmm. so that proves that it actually is a physical destruction of the brain and not just some weird you know not like a misplaced you know, synapse or yeah something like that. It, there's physical damage happening it's mm -hmm. not just like other forms of mental Im illness where stuff is just wrong it's sure. actually that stuff is being destroyed so that's kind of interesting because once you show that it kind of helps you codify what's happening and, and how to fix it any other announcements this is depressing <laughs> okay but uh, i mean it's yeah it's mom con mom con mom con there's so there's a team tournament on friday there is i think a bunch of 50 point events on saturday there's some other shit going on i don't care about uh that's mom con lots of war machine lots of war lots of lots of guild ball lots of other games happening some blood, uh, bowl. blood bowl all sorts of things going on all sorts of things i think madison is sending like three or four carloads of people there it's uh, pretty cool. I get to see Chris Green. Miss that guy. He's a son of a bitch. I don't want to be near Chris Green at all. He's he is the Nickelback of the War Machine community. Man, that is a pretty. He, that's a compliment to him. I know that shirt. I'm gonna burn that shirt while it's on him one of these days. I want to one up it, but I don't know how quite yet. You, you can't. I know. I there's got to be a way. I don't you know. fucking can't. Well, you surely got the, 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 the Swift thing locked down, so you can't go that direction. Perfect one for you. Right said, Fred. No, that's legit. You'd have yeah. to have like you know, Justin Bieber is the so and so or of our Nelson. time. Huh. Nelson or something. I don't the know. the Simpsons character. No, Nelson, the band from the eighties. They made Bob Jovi popular. So when, okay, here's a quick, quick quiz for Nathan. You know Nelson, right? Yeah, Mister Mister. Okay, no, <laughs> no. What are their names? Nelson. No. Ah, damn That's it. That's their last name. They're the ones who lip sync, right? They're the ones who don't. <laughs> no, yeah, Millie, 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 Nelson Millie Nelson and Vanilli Nelson and Willie Nelson. And one of them That's killed. three Nelsons, and Willie, and Millie, killed. and Vanilli. And one of them was a victim of uh, Dahmer. Was that correct? Did yeah. That happened? Yeah. Willie Nelson, Manili Nelson, and Villy Nelson, and Jeffrey Dahmer ate one of them. It's a fact. I was hoping that Chris would 
our friend would Chris Nelson ju- would jump up on the chat because he knows their name. I he is he is busy with his wife. He got her a computer, so now they can play Overwatch together. Yeah, and I'm the, so excited for that. The only band names that I know the trivia of is the the ZZ Top, mm-hmm. because there's three members to ZZ Top. Two of them are brothers that have beards, and the third guy is clean shaven, and his name is Beard. And that's funny. It is pretty hilarious. Any other announcements? Uh, Wisconsin team championship. Yeah, like still, I know, but but so listen, shithead. There's a few things tied to it. Number one, we're up to nine teams. It's very exciting. I'm hoping for even numbers. Which he goes out to 45 people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, his team's I mean, a five. It's going to be big. Um, you know, the Muse crew was going to get a team eventually, I think. Like, I'm trying to factor that in. Well, that's but, the thing. Well, I'm, I'm going to jump in before you continue. Because so, you, you have, a, you have a, a set train of thought that you want to go well, off Well, what I was going to say is that people who are thinking about coming need to start registering because you, sh- you really need to be registered by the end of the month. Um, you know, if, if, you, if you are slacking and you come to me in the middle of June, maybe we can work it out. But we really need to start planning the space and stuff like that, and we need the money to do that. So really the registration is supposed to be by the end of May. So that would be really, really nice. So if you've been sitting on the pot, please shit. I'm doing it right now. Awesome. Why? What were you going to say? Is it along those lines? I was going to say, sign the fuck up, you goddamn lazy motherfuckers, who yes. you know you're going to go. Yes. I mean, you know you're going. You have your team. Youth has their team. They know they're going to play it, but they haven't signed up. Sign the fuck up. Right. That would be yeah. convenient. Um, Idiots. The, the, so the registration's by the end of the month. Uh, lists will end up being due by the Friday before it, which is the 8th, I believe we said. If right. I can do that the math, like July 8th. Correct. Um, yeah, because the event's on the 16th, and so that's Saturday's night, so July 8th. Um, I'm I, at Ramstein that weekend. <laughs> fuck you, Casey. <laughs> oh, I'm so Ramstein. angry about that. They have um, a good song. Do host. No, but Ramstein's on Friday, so it doesn't even <laughs> interfere. She's staying to go see, like, Corn or something. No, Who cares? I'm not sure. It She's staying Nickel- to see Corn And Nickelback. Corn and Nickelback are on Saturday. <laughs> Who the fuck cares about Corn and Nickelback? Casey's it, a It's not Nickelback the 90s anymore, so you don't need to care about Corn. And Nickelback has always sucked, so you don't need to care about Nickelback. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I'm also going to shout out uh, to some of our sponsors, Broken Egg, who is providing uh, the zones and the the terrain, which is pretty cool. I I bought so I have I have I bought 2D terrain from Broken Egg and I brought 2D terrain from Muse and I love all the terrain. I wish one of those companies would make bigger hills, but <laughs> I do really like the Broken especially Eggs. with the new elevation rules. They might have yeah. to. Broken Egg's terrain pops really nice. That's like mm-hmm. their big selling point. Is you can, it's really just there. Well, in a really nice way. Speaking of Muse, so Broken Egg is 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 uh, we went through them. They gave us a great uh, uh, price on on the zones and terrain, which really helped us be able to fund this. Um, Muse is going to be helping us by fulfilling the Kickstarter things. So like we have uh, you know some terrain and widgets and and uh, whatnot are prizes for Kickstarter, and Muse is making those, and they're also loaning us some of their new four by four mats that they're making. Nice. So we're going to have those Muse mats at the at the uh, those convention. Those are amazing. They, and again, they they're getting close to what I wanted a mat. They, their their new mats are basically green with they have some stuff on them, but it's it's less pronounced. Like those old companies, they had a green mat with so much dirt on there, it just looked it just looked clumpy. Looked like mud smears. Yeah, and it can be confusing because it could yeah. almost look like terrain, and you didn't know how much of it to ignore. And the Muse one is much more subtle, so I really like it a lot more. But man, why can't somebody just make like green? <laughs> <laughs> just make green. Just let, make the grass. People, let the people put the terrain on the mats. If, if you put anything but green on it, it's like, well, what am I supposed to do here? Speaking of uh, also uh, Pegasus Games and Noble Knight Games, a couple local-ish uh, game stores. Well, Pegasus is super local, and Noble Knight's a little further away, but they're also helping uh, in various ways. Noble Knight's, we're looking at it for, si- for prize support. And then Pegasus helped us with chess clocks because chess clocks are fucking expensive. So we're, thank you to them. We're down to two people. We're down to two people, but really we're the only two that matter. High five. Boom! Um, Oh, and then tying into that, I know I'm just being fucking annoying right now, but uh, speaking of the Kickstarter prizes that Muse is helping us with, the Kickstarter is over, but uh, the artwork from Florian, which was fucking amazing, 
Like, if you guys haven't seen that artwork, you, you should see that artwork. We tweeted it from the uh, the America's Team Championship Twitter, but Florian always does amazing work. I mean, he did the Wisconsin War Jack for the six-pack that we kind of stole to use for the WITC in the meantime, but his new art was fucking amazing. His artwork, it's an amazing image, and I love how the the stuff around the earth and the bird, I don't understand, I don't understand the bird. It looks cool. I don't get it. But There's it two things with the bird, so I'll okay. tell you. The actual coloration, everything is based on a red-tailed hawk, which okay. is a, a, a local-ish breed, uh, but more specifically. So for a lot of the, like, um, the European things and whatnot, they have dragons, you know, dragons okay. all over the place. And so the, the purpose for the bird is that it is a thunderbird, which mm -hmm. is a mythological creature that is unique to the Americas and spans across both continents. Uh -huh. uh, they're Aztec, right? Well, or, yeah, or, so a lot of Native American mythology has the thunderbird. So uh, the, the North American uh, uh, Indian tribes have the Thunderbird in their totem poles and everything. And then you look in South America, like the Maginot, not the Maginot Lines, that's fucking World War One. The, the, the Naz, Nazca, Naz something lines, Naz they Gold. also have, the Nazgul lines, yeah, they also yeah. have Thunderbirds on there. So it's a North and South American mythological the, creature. That's the ring also, race? Also, isn't, yes. isn't, well, two things. A, that's cool. Uh, three things, that's cool. Uh, isn't it a TV show? About Thunderbirds? Thunderbirds? You sure, yeah. And, There's if, the puppets. If, and if we're doing the North American, South American thing, why couldn't it have been a chupacabra? Because those are just Mexican. I but they, they they've they've gone across the board. Like killer bees used to be just South America, but now sure. they're, they're across a continent. <laughs> you could have had just like killer bees <laughs> over the yeah, over, over chupacabras and killer bees. Because well, they're damn it, yeah. uh, Florian. We need new art. Yeah, send it back to Florian. We need it. the Thunderbird, chupacabra, and killer bees. Yeah, no, fighting. fuck the Thunderbird. Just the chupacabra and the killer bees. Yeah. I need Dr. Bees as a chupacabra. <laughs> so somebody is asking about, will you live stream matches out there? So we almost certainly will not this year, uh, just because when you're at a hotel and you want to live stream, you need internet, and internet costs approximately all the money in the world yeah. at a hotel. Um, next year, it's, we're really, really hopeful, because even if we drop prices next year, because... Like, I now have the clocks and the terrain. And so, like, we'll have all that stuff paid for. So pretty much all the entry fees can just go to paying the hotel room to exist and give us internet. No, the, games may be recorded, just uploaded we're later. We're going to record games, yeah. yes, but we're not going to live stream. But we are going to record and we are going to have live-ish updates throughout the event. Correct. Uh, so people can follow. Well, we have somebody working on a website. I, I know for uh, I'm going to be participating in the event, so it's going to be difficult for me to record. But I will have some recording equipment on there to to uh, so we can at least post the matches afterwards. I also am working on uh, setting up some audio so we can actually record the the people playing it, kind of like uh, how uh, Trevi does. Yeah. Because his, his setup is really nice. I, I like how he's got the, the people mic'd up. And that way you don't have to worry about doing any kind of commentary. Yeah. That's I mean, I, I think all good end goal of live streaming is do what the WTC does, where they actually have commentators commentating on the events. Even Correct. The people, that, I mean, but obviously, for the first event, you can't try to do everything because that just doesn't work. Right. But going forward, as we grow and, and whatnot, I think that that'll really, really be a possible thing. And again, if you know you're going, sign the fuck up. Yes. And also, because uh, I was going to segue into this, and then you asked about the Thunderbird. Does it make sense now? Yes. No, Good. Cool. I mean, it looks great. I you just didn't know I, what I, a, I, yeah, I was, yeah, I didn't get what it was. I mean, because, I mean, they, 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 like for mine, it was simple. Because I, I didn't go for this, like, deep level. I went for, like, a, a jack that was, like, you know, yellow and green. Sure. So, I mean, it was very Packer color without, like, an elaborate thing. You guys had, like, this, you know. Oh, that's Packer colors. Whoa. What? Oh. Uh, yeah, so. I'll throw my spoon at you. <laughs> How are you going to eat your potatoes? Like a. Like an animal. Just like a pig a, out of the trough. Yeah, I um, have to go get a spoon because. <laughs> Oh, they didn't give Popeyes you a spoon. Popeyes did not give me a spoon. All right, these are long announcements. Keep going. Okay. Uh, lastly, uh, so, yeah, that's why I said. The logo's there. If you looked at that logo and you're like, holy shit, I totally want T-shirts and or widgets and or terrain zones and or some other swag with that on there, the Kickstarter's over. But if you go to the T American Team Championship Kickstarter and look at the backer levels, if you want to PayPal us money equal to one of the backer levels, we'll get you in. I just want some zones. I'll tell anyone. Okay. Shh. <laughs> So, oh, no. yeah, we're going to have to order the stuff in another couple weeks here. Like maybe the maybe next Saturday we were going to look and order them. So the rest of this week and maybe next week, if you want to look, if you really want to get on board, jump on board. And that's me for announcements. All right. 
Well, for topics, I guess... We still have an announcement. Oh, my God. What's next? Andy's proxy thing, which is being moved forward a week, right? No, it is not. Being fuck you. <laughs> so Then I'm out. So, Nathan, let's <laughs> have a special request for any viewers out there or any listeners out there. Um, if you happen to decide that you're going to be picking up a lot of battle boards and splatter boards... I need eight battle boards and four splatter boards. Yeah. He doesn't want to buy them before the proxy event. I am sure they will be just as good in Mark III. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably buy two of each. I buy, I have two of every beast. Yeah. But so two yeah. is two sounds reasonable. Having eight is maybe you could convince Rick to get pick up a couple. I mean, I have twenty eight razor boars. I don't need to spam something else. <laughs> and you have twenty. It's on May twenty eighth. That's not. That's not. That's not a correct date. What day is it on? May twenty eighth. It is May twenty eighth. Wait. Twenty. That's not right. It can be, yeah. Maybe it is right. The oh. May day, the May Saturdays are all May divisible 28th. by seven. Yep. Yeah, so May twenty eighth. So that's uh, two weeks from this coming Saturday. I yep. might be playing Total War that day, or I'll be playing War Machine one of the two. No, you should be playing War Machine or Overwatch. It's really hard to tell. Just play play some War Machine. I Just have come to down some, play your, your if I can get list. some stuff, if I can create a thing for the Hydra, I will definitely have a Hydra list there. So so you're okay. So you're asking Andy, can you make me something for? Well, the Hydra? mostly Nick, he can print something because I want to have the Hydra like a big Hydra thing, all made up. Possibly two or three. You can't have three. I'll find a way. It's Not legally. <laughs> the reason I have 28 razor boards is because they come in two packs, so I couldn't buy 27. And the reason I have 27 razor boards is because that's the most you can field in a 50-point list. Yeah. I mean, obviously, people. <laughs> Ask a stupid question. Yeah. I own 34 shredders. Yeah. Well, you know what? We we should we need to do that in Mark Two, and then we can do it again in Mark Three, and just have uh, all sh we can do a four player and have Shredders versus uh, Reptile. Yeah. Or hounds. or or, or, or um, I have six Reptile Hounds, and I have seven units of Swarm, which is technically thirty five models. But yeah, yeah. So you can bring those. He'll bring all Shredders. I'll do my Razor Boards, and we just need somebody to do the Blight Wasp bullshit. Yeah. Uh, with all the Beast Mistresses in the pots, there's that Theme Force that does that, right? Isn't yeah. that like Thags Two or somebody? Well, I mean, that would be in the the Shredder area. Yeah, that would be. Well, no, your shredders, they're white wasps. Mm, yeah. And then we'll just do that. And then we'll It'll just be have fun. a bunch of whelps. <laughs> we'll put Gatsby 2 in the middle. <laughs> uh, I still haven't decided which caster does 27 razor boards best. I don't know. Find out Mark 3. Midas. Guy Midas. Midas here. Yeah, it ends up being 54, which is pretty sexy. Uh, making them all weapon masters with baton no mobility is pretty sexy. Yeah. Seems legit. Drain gives them all free Pathfinder charges every turn. Boom. It's all fun. Good the times. The obvious choice for me if, is Thag Rush 2. Obviously, Thag Rush 2 for the Shredders. When you feet and they come back, they come back near him, right? They come back, yes. Yeah, so there's this mass around him. So and they can, all heal basically to full because he can just spend like six Fury and heal them all. Wait, can you... Can you uh, could you actually have too many where you feet and couldn't bring them all back because he literally ran out of space? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Uh, especially under Mark Three, where they ought to be placed within. Completely within, yeah. yeah. That's bullshit. I think they should have kept that rule for, for uh, the Gargantuans. We were talking about that last night. Yeah, it was redundant. <laughs> it was redundant of them to ban Thagrosh 1 from bringing back a, a huge base model. Because his feet says completely within three inches. Oh, yeah. And I think if you can fit an Archangel completely within three inches of Thag's 1, you deserve to bring it back. If you're willing to bend the model. <laughs> yeah, just snap the base in half. <laughs> Oh, no, it's Snake Rush. He's on an arch. Yeah. And then, you yeah, know. they appear under it or above him. Just have like a bridge, and he goes under the bridge and does his voodoo, and it appears on top yeah. of the bridge. Can you imagine the, the height of that arch, too, <laughs> to fit the archangel underneath it? Uh, hey, Mega Train. A drill makes him You're bad. fighting in St. Louis. <laughs> so there was two uh, things this week that Privateer had, two insiders of value. I mean, they're all value to some degree, but two that people cared about. Do you think? No, do you think it really feels bad to be like the person on the insiders that they don't give a shit about? It's like, <laughs> hi there, I'm Mister So and So. I'm going to talk about pins. Like, there's just hatred. The whole community oh, wants you to die. But, but that's I, only at this time, though. But no, that's my like, point. Like, Normally yeah. they're fine, but <laughs> yeah. right now, like every time I'd refresh their page and I'd still see that there, I just wanted to punch them in his head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, two months ago, that's cool information. Everything, every other insider is great, except for right now. <laughs> Here's an interview with an author. Fuck him! <laughs> Those aren't rules. Fuck you! <laughs> I mean, that's basically true. I mean, Travis loves it because he's like, oh, I'm more stuff. But everyone else... And like, a month ago, I would have loved it, like yeah, you said. But yeah. when I'm hitting refresh and it's three in the afternoon and they still haven't put up a, the new insider about a faction, fuck that guy. Or it does refresh and it's another author invite. Oh, like, damn it. 
So the Legion, the le people seem to like Legion changes pretty well. They they took that very well. They they keep leaking more and more, and they keep being better and better for Legion. Well, players. I think the difference with the Legion is they, I think they did Legion and Cricks first because they were the ones who were being because obviously there's a new power level they're readjusting to. And I think they're the ones who are being toned down more than other factions, mm -hmm. so they want to get them out done first. And with Cricks, they said here's a bunch of toned downs and here's some positives. With Legions, here's a bunch of toned downs and here's a little bit of buffs. And then over the course of the week, they kind of gave more of the positive. But they kind of led with more negative-ish. When you say you're, when you say like big chassis are losing speed and you're losing like you know thing, I mean, I'm not saying there were bad changes, but it was kind of more of a negative initial boost versus you know, which I don't think is necessarily fair. I mean, you're right; it's 100 percent true what you're saying, but it's also kind of bullshit because the there was a lot of positive in that insider, yeah. but the Legion players just didn't seem to care about the positive no, they put out. You know, they, like. I thought Bethane's new feat was fucking amazing. Yeah. But they're all like, I ah, don't care, don't care. And I thought, I think the new Proteus looks baller as hell. But they're like, don't care, don't care. And, the and new Scythian is pretty damn awesome, Scythian, too. But, I mean, yeah. that's, that's what that thing was built for, is to basically take out infantry. Not, in a sense, take out heavies. But I, mean, I think but, they tried to do both, yeah. but I don't think that it, it hit the notes as much to the community with as it did Souls with the Souls typically follows up in the threads a lot more. For whatever reason, Will didn't follow up very much. Today. Like Will came in that thread that they posted like two, two or three things where, where Souls will post for a few hours. And Will came in, in the next couple of days and kind of re-energized the thread and kind of had more of a dialogue back and forth. So. Yeah. But whatever. I mean, Legion stuff looks cool. Scorn stuff looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm happy. No, they already nerfed Scorn. Yeah, I you did. you have the, you guys get the privilege of being the first erratum in we, Mark yeah, Three a month before it comes out. Our Void Spirits would have been fine the way they have to nerf them this, <laughs> after the insider. Yeah, functioning as intended. Yeah. When this model activates, remove all enemy warrior models from play. Yeah. Totally as intended. Wait, what? That was that was how. Yeah. That was how Void Spirits read. Because there were three things to Void Spirits. Okay. Boosted to hit and damage rolls against living models. Yep. With Mordekar. No, that's, oh, that's, normal. Normal. that's normal. That's normal. Yeah. Boosted to hit and damage rolls against living models. Okay. After they kill a living or undead model, they get to teleport eight inches. Okay. And with Mordekar, every time they kill a model, they get to move an inch and get a free attack. Okay. So kill, teleport eight inches, move an inch, kill a guy. Kill, teleport eight inch. So they got infinite attacks with an eight inch teleport and a one inch move after every single attack with boosted to hit and damage rolls. Sounds legit. It Sounds was. legit. And when it finally misses, you just activate your other Void Spirit. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it you made got, sense to me. Made you got, how, what, how many points are they? Two. Two points? Well, four. I'm sorry. Four in Mark Three. I'm sure. Okay. So, so, so it takes eight whole points to wipe out every single model your opponent brought. Yeah. And then Mark... And that isn't a war jack. Yeah. In Mark One, you needed, you know, two yeah. war chiefs. Yeah, those were more expensive. And yeah. a feat to do it. Those this were like 30 is, or 40 you could do every turn. Yeah. My greatest disappointment is they refused to give me any sort of Xerxes 2 information. No matter how much I begged all the employees, they wouldn't give me a goddamn piece of information for Xerxes 2. Fuck you, private press. So, the teleport's once per turn. Yeah, it's what, is what they did. Which is still killing spree through a unit, teleporting, and then mm -hmm. killing spree through. Assuming the teleport isn't like an end of activation thing, but it, they showed the whole card. Yeah. So, unless something changed in the core rules, they still are able to kill spree, teleport, kill spree, and then be done, yeah, which I is mean, still scary as fuck. You charge in to where you are where you can be. charge. You kill a model. Maybe you kill two, but probably only one. Now, you teleport eight inches to the best possible spot. Maybe get three more. Yeah, I mean, with units how they are, you should be able to get two ish the yeah. first time, you know, because well, you're gonna get yeah. you got your you got your reach, you got your base, you got an inch move, you got your reach again. Yeah. You should be able to grab yeah. a couple guys. But, but I mean, you're gonna tell, but your teleport is probably gonna give you at least three. So yeah. you're still getting a pr it's still a pretty good thing. And you got two void spirits doing that. That's still a, you're still digging. And with good. how back arcs work now, that teleport's gonna get you into the back arc of their support shit, yep. and you're just gonna mm -hmm. tear hog. Yeah. They're doing like a good job in, in the now, Insiders. Too, right? They're, they're still in Corporal? I don't yeah. know. To start off? Yeah. Probably. They're dropping really cool rules in the Insider. Like, by the way, like, you know, in the Square Insider, they're talking about scoring. Oh, by the way, backstrikes, you know, happen when you're there now if you started. You know, all these, like, they keep putting these little tidbits in Insiders. Yep. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm, I'm excited for scoring. I mean, I think the changes are cool. I mean, we glad you kept <laughs> Rush, which I'm a little sad about. I mean, I'm glad we have it, but I mean, it's, and I, people are assuming it's exactly the same because they haven't really called out that it's not. If Rush lost Pathfinder, that would rock be... Oh, that'd be terrible, yeah. Only because Path... I think Pathfinder will be more important next yeah. version, so losing Pathfinder to me would be like, it would be hard to adjust to. But Mordekar gives his entire, his entire battle group now his ghost leave when he needs it. That's pretty awesome. 
Yeah. Wait, oh, so he's field marshal ghostly then? No, or... no, one of his spells just gives us what gives them ghostly. Ooh, wow. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah so that's yeah. pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. I mean, his hollow got, some of it, yeah, he got toned down in some ways, but he's still cool. He lost Spanishing Warrior, which was kind of a shame, but, you know, the way they're dealing with spells and upkeeps, who knows? It's all. But weird. it's all good because nothing's better than going on the forums and looking at terrible people still complain. You know, yeah. like people talk about how bad a spell Quicken is. Yeah, exactly. Quicken is ridiculous. Yeah, people are like, ah, oh, this is terrible. They nerfed the shit, and now we only have garbage like Quicken. Yeah. It's it's like, like man. one of the best spells in yeah, the game. The spell that I put on, like, my high my high defense unit that, that what? is moving two inches more. Yeah. What? Ravenger is that plus. I forget which, which, which Scorncaster got Ravenger. I not not Ravenger. What's that one that the. It was like it was a plus strength and it, it's for infantry only. It, it boosts, buffs an interesting inter, inter, infantry model. Do a lot of damage. Is it called Ravager? Rager. Rager. It's called Rager. Rager. Someone in Crick got Rager. Yeah, but whatever. Scorn. I mean, it's cool. I'm happy. Garbage. I mean, They're yeah. all garbage. We still, we, they only, you know, we still only have a, a small tidbit. I mean, our Titans are easier to hit now, but whatever. I think they, I think they want yeah, more players to play a wider variety of their beasts. Titans are easier to hit by now. Legion beast lost spiny growth and tenacity. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a pattern, you yeah. know. Things can die. Yep. But also, most things appear. The big shit appears to also be cheaper in general because yep. they double the point scale. But all the jacks and beasts they're spoiling, almost one hundred percent of them so far, are cheaper than what double their point yep. value now would be. Exactly. I think that amazing light jack might not Karn be the case. came out fairly unscathed, considering he still hits like a truck. Obviously, he only he only sides with Makeda, but he's still. I mean, he's going to be four all the time instead of the five once in a while. But he's still good. Yeah. I mean, yep. Karn is playable. I mean, people like people figured you know the top three miles of every faction are the one we would get the hardest, and he well he came away pretty damn good. Judging by him and Isla's sight, they're really trying to nerf the really strong things as little as possible. Like, Isla's sight could have been just destroyed. Isla's sight could have just been like, meh, models are cool. You know, and all they took away was the thing that made perfect sense not to. Yeah. They were uh, kidding yeah. Well, currently, yeah, current of being still a spiny, but in general, it's really reduced to the fact you can't, you know, spiny growth everything. Spiny, spiny self now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that too. Anything. But I'm just talking about Isla's sight, Isla's you know, sight, like, yeah. it still ignores stealth, it's still, you know, they, they only took away shooting through a forest. The spiny growth also uh, kind of takes it away for some of the Merc players as well. Mm -hmm. They can't oh, well. they can't have spiny in their Merc list. Good or Crix. No, nope. you know Bart Double Galleon with spiny on both of them. You know, go fuck off. Yeah. I mean, I I can live with that. Yeah. yeah, they definitely everything seems more killable, which is not a bad thing. I. Yeah, you know, because cause I think people are getting sick more... of the slogs of Meat Mountain and Fist just dry humping each other for yeah. two hours till and somebody death And you're going to have more jacks on the table, so that maybe you're, you have more killing power constantly happening. Yep. It's, it's a very interesting dynamic that way. Uh, Kriya's got the big change because now they, they lost the armor buff and they lost the offensive abilities where they can uh, minus defense of their opponents, but they're but it's in a three-inch bubble. Force barrier. Force barrier is three inches instead of two inches. It's still plus two defense and immune to blast damage, which to me is a huge it, deal. It's the same thing that uh, the Arcanists. Yeah, all the have. wizards have. Well, that. you look at Kator, they get this high explosive rule where their blast damage is power 10 across the board. I'm like, man, I like to play infantry. If I took on Kator, they could just blast damage my army away. Now I have immune to blast damage all over the place. My army's not going anywhere. <clears throat> right. I, I am most you, interested Kator. to see. I mean, I mean, there's specific things in my factions I care about, but yeah. ignoring that specifics, the biggest broad reaching thing i'm interested to see because they already said the rule itself is untouched they're just changing who has it is the percentage of units that currently have weapon master that keep it yeah you know they took it away from bane knights nihilators lost fearless no oh, nihilators lost fearless they took it away from bane knights you know oh void spirits don't scare your own guys anymore because they're an abomination yeah. so that was good change the void spirits yeah. Same joke. But, uh, yeah, like, I'm curious. Do Doom Reavers still have uh, Weapon Master? Like, those problem units. Uh, like, the Doom Reavers are FAU everywhere now, which mm -hmm. is scary. But if they're not Weapon Masters anymore, maybe it's not as scary, you know? Maybe we need a have... camera on Jordan the second he realizes that information, if, it, if that would happen. Cause... Well, they already took away him being able to scare 10 units eight times a turn by just running one Doom Reaver from each unit past them. Yeah. So, yeah. He has... The, that hasn't been a factor in his games with the last steamroller as much, but I mean, it's definitely it's still an option he had available to him yeah. that has been because the last steamroller put that fearless thing in the in the as an objective, so that yeah. like made a lot of armies a lot less scary of them. Yep. But yeah, no, it's still, I, I'm most interested because with the things being killed, they're they're making you take more jacks and beasts with the whole battle group thing. But if I can still have two units of 
insert Weapon Master 10-man unit X here, just destroy everything, well, fuck it. Rex going to come on Monday. I love that Scorn also broke the four, broke the webpage. Yes. We survived Cricks and Legion, but as soon as Scorn gets updated, they get overwhelmed with people checking it out. Yeah, I could not get onto the site for They tormented many hours. the server. Yeah, we had to go to had to go to Reddit to find a good Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Reddit is Reddit and the best day is a piece of shit. Reddit for War Machine is like the really good example why Reddit's useless. Yeah. Man, it is just the worst place to be <laughs> in the world. That's all I had on Reddit. It's the worst. It Next is terrible. Monday we get Reddit. That'll be exciting. People uh, Jeremy Jeremy's because Jeremy really with Jeremy's hopes for mark three is to play a lot of ret i'm looking forward to come ret when somebody um tries to defend phantom seeker and they're upset that it got taken away <laughs> it, <laughs> it was, was a broken it was, well because even the fucking void spirits like brian culp come on brian you're better than this he was trying to say that the void spirits weren't overpowered because they only have one initial attack, and the boosted it was only against living models, so they were only going to kill 99% of stuff, not yeah, 100 stuff. Yeah, 99 so is like, not everything. People yeah. chill out. So I, I've been playing Rhett for about a year and a half, I would say. For I, mean, I just started playing Cricks in, in this one. but So you've been playing Rhett. Sorry. <laughs> I'll do it that one. No. I could stop. Well, now only that one hasn't, so... Yeah. Okay, now they're all even. So you've been playing Rat for a year and a half. <laughs> I had to do I, it once. I he was, no, <laughs> no, it was not necessary. I lost all train of thought. What I was going to talk about anyway. Awesome. So uh, Zappy grumbles then. <laughs> I have a random TV topic. Okay. Oh, you guys wanted to talk about uh, the Civil War? Well, well, no. we can. We'll, we'll wait. We'll, was uh, it about states' rights? You think, or really at its root was about slavery? I was surprised that the South lost. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there was a preview about the Civil War before the Civil War. I don't want no Civil War. It, it wasn't. No, it was it wasn't that. Feed the rich and it's so no. My my, to, my random topic is about TV. I'm watching a, a show called The One Hundred, which I surprisingly think is really good. I'm only on the very very beginning. The Hundred. It's a oh, CW okay. show. Um, it's been the, off of the what was it? The Forty Four Hundred. No, it's, it's that it's other a, one. It's like a sci-fi feature. Anyway, I'm on season three. I really like it. It's a, it's a CW show, so it starts, it starts off CW-ish, but it's, it gets violent very fast and pretty good. But I was when I watch it, I noticed that like they have an element like a trope that I don't like, and it's always first of all, I hate when I watch TV. I don't like to use words like trope or Chekhov's gun or you know blah blah blah. To, you know, I, I don't like to. I like to just watch a show and go, that was fun. You don't want to dissect it. Yeah, I mean, even when I watch You're artsy not me. film, <laughs> well, yeah, even when I'm watching an artsy film, I don't like movie. to really dissect it. Yeah, I, I sometimes if, if I watch a really artsy movie, I can kind of like mentally do that a little bit, but then I just I just want to enjoy the experience. Sure. Uh, but I mean, I want quality to be there, so I, I can recognize those elements and I can appreciate them. But I don't like to really just dig into it because it just does. It's not what I need with my. Time. I don't have enough time. I watch too many shows. I can't get that deep with it. But it's, but I will ramble because there, there are certain tropes, like a trope that I hate in a TV show, and it's one of the reasons why I hate a book series that I hate so much is like uh, kind of the brain. Like, it happens on sci-fi shows a lot. There's like this break. You have people who are established your characters, but then you know. The show wants to change it up a little bit, so it like brainwashes a few of the characters. They get like mind controlled or whatever. And sure. Like, that way, they get to do these cheap gimmicks of making the good guy the bad guy for half a season and you know, all this kind of stuff. Or with no are, repercussions, correct? Because then all... they just get fixed, correct. and yeah, yeah. So whatever. The, that's why I don't like the, the the tail end of season four of Angel because the whole the bad the whole, the whole purpose of the bad person is oh you looked at me and I'm i used my magical voodoo and now everyone loves me and I'm not the ruler of everything because that's my magical power. Sure. And I just was watching that I'm like man I, just, I always hate that element so much. And I was just curious if you guys have like a element what that book series do you hate because of that oh man i have to really i i think i burn i don't i'm not usually for burning books but uh these books deserve to be burned just because of uh oh, i can't it's funny uh someone i know really likes them and i hate him <laughs> <laughs> all right that's the book series man it's a, i don't know it's it's got the author is scott baker the sad thing is scott baker is an amazing writer like his storytelling like his, his main his books have like only a couple main characters and he writes them well one of his barbarians is written superb like i would say better than he's better than anything i've ever seen conan do like he's just an amazing barbarian and just true to insanity as far as just being like that barbarian incarnate 
Scott so, Baker is an American professional baseball starting pitcher? Nope. Oh, that's uh, Timothy Scott Baker. Okay. But anyway, this is Scott, this is Scott Baker, he's a great writer, but man, he, his main character basically has a trait where he's able to, he train with these monks. So if he talks to you, he can, after he, he speaks to you for like a second and he, he can basically figure out everything about your life in just a moment. So then he can just change his mannerisms within like moments and then he can completely manipulate you into completely falling for everything he's ever wanted to do. Did he write a lighter shade of blue, weird, wild, and wacky cop stories? <laughs> I don't think that so. might be a different Scott Baker. Might be a different Scott Baker. I'm pretty Neither sure. world. It's like B A K K E R. I'm pretty sure is how you spell oh, it. Oh, I need uh, I need more. So it's Backer. Yeah, I, I could be mispronouncing his last name, but I mean that's probably better for is him. It's Scott Bakula. <laughs> that's not Scott Bakula. I would appreciate his right his writing, even if I didn't like it. I would I would I would support anything he wrote, as long as it ended with oh boy. So to answer your question, are Scott Baker? Maybe. What's the, what's the, yeah, we got a, we got a, let's see, there's the judging eye. And the, oh, I clicked on something. Whatever. Yeah, it's our Scott Baker. All right. The trope I most hate in the planet is the one that is the source of every single episode of Frasier ever, which is where the entire conflict for the entire story would be solved if the two main characters would sit down and go, oh, oh, it was your sister. You weren't cheating on me. Sorry. I guess I should have just asked. But instead of doing that, they fight and thousands of people die and worlds explodes because there's a simple misunderstanding and they're too fucking stupid to take the 12 seconds to just double check. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. And then you make civil war out of it. <laughs> that's, that's honestly every single drama that's out there. I know, and I hate it. No. I hate it's like instead Breaking of bad, especially no, no. some of those no. shows are not that way at all. I mean, there's sometimes, there's sometimes a moment where it happens, but very rarely is it a continual thing. There's no 10 second clarification that could happen in Breaking Bad that eliminates the entire plot line. You know, like if he thought he had cancer because he overheard someone talking to somebody else and it turns out he didn't and he just never bothered to talk to his doctor, that would be the thing. You so know, some of the conflict could have been resolved very fairly easily had he actually done any kind type of communication with his wife. For the first couple seasons when he's hiding stuff, but that's an intentional hiding. Yeah. You know, and and you can, but that that's that's not the the stupid misunderstanding. You know, that an an intentional obfuscation of the truth is is different than sure, sure. what I'm that talking about. That is that does bug me. Uh, I will say, Lost could have been one season instead of seven if that would have if they would have taken that element out. Whenever that is too much of a driving, and I get that it happens. If it happens in a rare, like you said, it's every episode of Frasier. If it was like one episode of Frasier, that could probably be a funny episode. If it was, if that was not the yeah. core element, if it was just the oops, you know, because it's, it's funny once. And it's just it's too easy because what it is, it's just like you're talking about with the mind control cheat. What this does is it lets them instead of having the characters having a legitimate conflict, a legitimate disagreement, a legitimate different point of view that you build the story around you just what if they blah 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 and then you make them think that's what's happening and that way at the end of the episode you can go oh never mind and everything's fine you, you know yep. it's like if skylar yeah if skylar thought he was doing meth and it totally wasn't and then the end haha we're all fine i mean it's just like fuck you you know the conflict sure. was real and that takes effort and skill as opposed to just jerking off and pretending they misunderstood andy do you have one do i have a tv trope that i hate um, I cannot. I, I this would have been better to prepare ahead of time because I I don't really have one. I thought I was like I've been well season three of the hundred day they added a little bit of brainwash element to the show. I'm like oh it's only one of the subplots that's going on overall. But I'm like I don't need that in the show. I like it so much. But uh, it's, I uh, hate I hate uh, breakup of continuity in te television shows. Um, that <clears throat> it's it. It's kind of hard to explain. It, it's so it's mostly in like a lot of bad TV shows that I watch, um, like Z Nation. Hey, Z Nation is legitimately and better than. Dome. I like Z Nation better than The Walking Dead. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. But <laughs> but it's it's where the I I want to see consistency with characters. It it bothers me a lot when I see a character that you know hated this other person for something and they just absolutely hated him hated him and then suddenly it got to the point where maybe there was a, a turnover of writers dude and they forgot about are we best friends now <laughs> and they forgot about your mom's like, name martha <laughs> what happened previously it, and that's that bothers me yeah especially with yeah your mom's name is martha well you know it's it's now the story needs those characters to be friends so they don't 
earn it and they just kind of shoehorn them together and it's, yeah. it's a cheat is, yeah, is, is i think what's frustrating to you yeah and i think yeah no, I, that is that's no I, I think that you're that's a very good point I, tv is getting better overall so mm -hmm. it's harder to accept this crap anymore and sometimes like back when that happened all the time and there wasn't like great tv it was like whatever it just that's all we have now we're getting this quality tv at a much higher percentage so these cheaper uh, cop-outs just are so obvious it gets frustrating well, it's like, uh, so this is probably not actually a good TV show, although people claim, whatever. So once upon a time, Raylene watches that because she's, you know, a woman, a woman. and so their target thing. But like when they introduce Captain Hook, like he's this monster that like fucked over the main character. He does all this terrible stuff, but he's, you know, cute and the ladies love him. So they had to make him a good guy. So he's like, hey, he's a good guy now. And like, um... There's there's one woman who's like the villain for like the first six seasons. It's like Snow White's sister, like the whatever, mm -hmm. and like she's like a monster. Like she literally just pushes her this lady out of a bell tower for the fuck of it, and just but like murders hot, her. Right? But she's hot, yeah. and they just decide, ah, we need another villain, so she's a good person now. So Lane's watching, and I'm like, no, fuck her. She murdered a woman. She just pushed her out of a bell tower. She's like, no, she's the best. I love her. I'm like, no. To be fair, she was always the best character in that show. The show's terrible. The show was sure, awful. But keep her the villain. Don't just shoehorn yeah, her yeah. into the good guy position <laughs> the other thing i hate a lot is when they have to they have to they just change the justifications for a character it's like it's kind of like the robocop where michael keaton basically didn't break any laws to the very very end of the movie hey they had him randomly like try to shoot someone just so robocop could kill him because he, yeah he basically wasn't doing anything wrong but they like oh wait a minute robocop has to have a reason to kill this guy because he actually didn't do anything bad yep so now you have to do this ridiculous thing and I, it happens in the shows too, where they just like make this weird break. It's kind of what you, you were saying how people aren't—it's not true to themselves. Like they, there's this like weird element where it just kind of comes out of the blue. It's also sometimes my main problem with wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they decide somebody needs to be a heel, correct? And so all of a sudden they're a heel. Uh, but I do, I do love it in wrestling when they do uh, throw back to that. Yeah. Like you know, like well, Kane set fire to one of the announcers during yeah. an interview. And they, when he was going to be interviewing with that guy again, they, they had the guy remember, the, you know, back, you know, four or five years ago when he was going to be set on yeah. fire. You failed because you're mentioning Kane being interviewed about stuff he did in the past. You missed the best thing, which is Kane talking about how he has an obsession with abusing Pete Rose. <laughs> well, yeah, that's <laughs> an anger Kane management. was amazing on that game show. <laughs> Uh, was uh, it? the weakest link. Weakest link. He was like, the, he was like amazing, like legit amazing in that show. <laughs> go, go to YouTube. Look up the weakest link with Kane. The best part about what? that. The best part about that. They had all all WWE wrestlers there, uh, like Triple H, The Big Show. I uh, had them all there. Everybody else is wearing suits and ties. Kane was Kane wearing Kane his customer. fucking mask <laughs> and a suit, and he kicked ass. <laughs> he destroyed everyone. It was amazing. <laughs> But yeah, go to YouTube, look up Kane and the Weakest Link. It's so good. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, a Spanish announcer's table would be amazing for the Crippled System podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but even though you're right, when they when, sometimes people go he, they go heal or they go it's just because of you know the fan support. But sometimes they do it amazing. Like, like Stone Cold's turn was amazing. Mm -hmm. Like the Rock. I mean, they, they they sometimes do it so right. The character is a legend forever. And it's so it. much better. And you can tell when they put the effort yep. into it Correct. as opposed. You you have to justify these things, you know. Yep. And like that's the link between all of our things that we brought up is just that the it's a bullshit excuse to change characters without earning it. You know, whether it's a misunderstanding or brainwashing or an undetermined bullshit thing for whatever reason it's just no you can't just do that you have to earn it yeah so that was my random topic because i was i was watching 100 and i'm like oh brainwashing that show's so good don't 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 consume my current season i also got spoiled i know someone dies in the show this season because i was looking at it. I, I was like i need to check something on the internet and uh, i ruined it for myself but, good job <laughs> i mean I, I was like i'm going into the danger zone and i took i took a bullet have you have you watched any of quarantine or containment I have not. I, I think I'm going to try it. I, I, the so, AV Club has not been kind to it. Oh, we messed great. up. Raylene and I started to watch it today, but it turns out we were watching a terrible British movie from last year called Containment. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> so It intrigued me, but the reviews have been unkind. Okay. So I, I made it through. I made it through the... I'm, I'm current now with Flash, yep. which I, I still love that show. It's I amazing. watched all of season one. Oh, oh <laughs> nice. But uh, the Flash is just... it's just really good and i realize i realize the true reason why i like it it's not the flash 
Right. It is a very fast Spider-Man. That's that's what it reminds me so much of. He reminds me of Spider-Man. He reminds me of how Spider-Man would work. That's why he got the villain of the month. That's why he's able to be hit all the time. You know, it, it's if if that was written as Spider-Man, it would be perfect. In my experience, spiders don't lose fights to bees. <laughs> hey, you're about to be person out too. Uh, <laughs> someone that's about the Night Manager. I have that in my DVR. I'm I'm very excited to watch it. Too. I'm yeah. I'm I'm. Uh, I think I'm going to record all of them because it's only six episodes. Yeah, and I'm going to just marathon. My DVR is like a critical level right now, though. Okay, so should we move on to the Zappy Grumbles? Do you have any Zappy Grumbles? Yeah, we should. There, there we one had one the earlier. one at the beginning. Yep. I'll jump back Someone hit it, yeah. While you're doing that, I'll mention, speaking of like some British TV show and sci-fi shows and whatever, what was, was that show that everybody was pissing to? Black Mirror, right? What? Black, uh, the, the like Twilight Zone style thing from England. Sure. You know, where the first oh, episode, yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. fucks a pig. So, Correct. Eh, it's not that good. I think it was overrated. All right. True story. Okay. Just wanted to throw that out there while he was scrolling. Sure. Did anyone have a chicken tender related issue today? <laughs> nope. I didn't. Somebody tried to try to convince me that I got less chicken tenders and less biscuits today. Did you try? You ate all your tenders and then you didn't try the dipping sauce like no, you were I gonna. Didn't. When I visited my mom, I, I took a clever for her. She well, she had chicken tenders. That's my chicken tender story. Yeah. So, so everyone here has has gotten only positive chicken tender related experiences in the recent past. All right, Zabity. KFC knows their chicken. You always get one extra tender because two of them are only like 75% the size of a normal tender. But that's okay because that adds up to an extra 50% of a tender. The uh, Culver's, or not Culver's, but uh, Popeye's, when you get the chicken tenders there, they usually, I usually end up with like one and a half more. Yeah, they, they the air on the side of extra. They don't want you to be pissed because you got one pinky sized tender, so you just get a half dozen. Yeah, and I, lo- I love their, their gravy. Their gravy and their mashed potatoes is so good. I know red beans and rice is good, but man, gravy and mashed potatoes. Oh, man, I fucking love red beans and rice. All right, Zabity. Crumble. Uh, speaking of cons, do any of you have plans to go to the F- uh, Fantasy Fight Game Worlds in Minnesota? Nope. I I would love to. I would love to go to their store a couple times. <laughs> it's it's. Uh, I've only seen cool things about it. I, I want, At some point, I do want to go there because they have some games that they do some events for that I want to play. I just have not been there. and I don't know when I'll be there, to be honest, but... It's, I mean, I love Fantasy Flight, but for being six hours away, and they have some pretty, they have some pretty, some pretty cool thematic events going on there that I have not gone to. Scroll. Someone made a big long rant while we were talking about our TV thing too. I, mean, I think it was about uh, something about supernatural. Su- something about supernatural. I was curious what he said because I'm current on supernatural. Well, we're doing this oh, here. Uh, Nathan, he wasn't there last week to answer his question. Did he ever play Magic: The Gathering? And what are our thoughts on it as a game? Has he ever tried Android Night- Netrunner? Yes. I absolutely loved it, but I got out. Um, I, I, I broke the habit. <laughs> it's, it's a good game. I mean, it's, it's, it, it is a super solid game. It is a well-designed game. Uh, I got out because of a minor thing that annoyed me. Um, what? Because that, I know, who's surprised? <laughs> wow. So I got out after, like, Fallen Empires, Ice Age-ish. Because what happened is they started to... You had the card limits, and so you'd have stuff like the Prodigal Sorcerer, which is a one colorless, one blue for a 1-1 one, one creature that you tap to do one damage to target creature or player. Mm-hmm. But then every expansion, they'd bring out the Prodigal Sorcerer and the Crobigal Sorcerer or the Chubital Doppler, and all of them were one colorless, one blue, one, one creature that you tap to do one damage to target creature or player. I'm like, okay, so what's the point of the fucking limits? Like, so now I can have 20 of them in my deck just by doing these five different ones that are literally the exact same card. And it just kind of annoyed me, and I, I because I was so fun in deck building and having those restrictions that the freedom to kind of cheat the restrictions by duplicating things just annoyed me, and so I just got out. Fallen Empires was pretty notoriously known as being a bad expansion a in big that breaking regards. Point, yeah. So uh, I got out then, uh, just also whatever. So, But it's a fucking fun game, and I play it now. Like, like I'll play with people. Like, if I came over here and Andy was a f- had decks, I'll play a game of Magic. It's a really well-designed game. I, I still... I like it, but it's a I, it's really just well-designed game. Not something I can possibly get into. I experience. do not want to spend any money on Magic: The Gathering <laughs> ever again, so I'm out. But I'll happily play it if people are like, "Hey, I've got a deck. Here's a deck. Let's play a game together." I've always wanted to. I, I, I'll, I'll take back. I would probably go to like a sealed deck tournament. A draft, like yeah, a draft. Might be, I've thought about that, but I don't have all the cards memorized now, so I just get destroyed by the people who know what to build to. I don't have that knowledge, you know, that I had when I knew literally every card in the game back in you know the revised and and whatever era. Um, and I haven't played Netrunner yet, but I heard it's amazing. 
that answered all that. Have you guys know that was your question. Have you guys we, put any in that We letter? talked about it all last Oh, did you not, sir? Okay, yeah, never mind. So there you go. Zappity. <laughs> he had his pet peeve. I'm sorry. Was, a person had something about... Oh, when uh, shows are released in a different order, but then film creating oh. weird continuity. That's always a, that's never the TV create. That's always a network being. You know what? We even we know you guys created the show and you wrote the show and you have a th- idea for the show, but let's just rearrange it because it'll be cooler. Yeah, that never has worked out in the history of ever. Yeah, well, like uh, Firefly, they wanted the pilot is relatively slow mm-hmm. because you know it has to introduce a dozen characters, so it has to take its fucking time. But they're like, that's not action packed enough, so let's start with the train job. And it's yep. like, no, you can't, because now nobody knows what's going on. Yeah, it's stupid. I kind of that kind of. I think it works for me in a sense. I kind of like things that just jump in willy nilly. Well, if they, but if they create but, it, should be more willy. But the fact that they didn't create the character introductions that correct. way is what really makes the problem. Right. If it's intended to be a jump in the deep end and don't worry, we'll introduce you as it sure, goes along. Sure. That's fine. But Train Job wasn't designed to introduce these characters. Correct. So you're like, what the fuck's going on? Like, we had some people that we knew, I had some people I knew at work went and saw uh, Age of Ultron and had seen no other Marvel Cinematic Universe movies prior to that. They just jumped to Age of Ultron and they're like, who are these people? That guy's got a cape and a hammer. It's like, what the fuck do you think is going to happen to you? You can't just go to Age of Ultron. To to really watch the Marvel (laughs) Cinematic Universe now, to catch up, you're looking at 13 different movies now. At least read the Wikipedia article, Who is Iron Man? Like, they knew nothing. They just jumped into Ultron. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, so Zappity Grumble, uh, have the weight loss guys tried doing weights three to four times a week? Good for muscle building and weight loss? I don't. I know I should. I do way more cardio. I should balance it out better. I sometimes do one or two days a week. It's just I'm doing so much outside now. There's disc golf, which I guess is throwing things, but it's still not really weight training. I just don't like, I don't know, I, I need to do it more because it is better. I, I bought don't. dumbbells so that I could do, you know, some, like, curls and stuff like that. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. Like, this I know. Everybody knows these. I don't know. Should I do this? Do I do that? I don't, Do I do this? I just don't know how I'm supposed to wave my arms to exercise everything. Sure. So instead, I just don't touch them. <laughs> So I need to get one of those like posters that shows you ten different exercises to do with dumbbells, and then I'll do them. If you do, I do know weight. Let's pick in our earlier comments about uh, gr- loose, loose skin being gross. If you do a lot of weight training, as you're losing weight, the building muscles will help the skin. You actually help helps cancel out some of the uh, loose skin. So will this loose work. skin move to my arms? <laughs> well, no, because as you lose weight, you not just arms. I mean, if you do a, a well-rounded workout, well, your loose skin, your arms might be more. So I need a big the belly, belly muscle. Bone. Yeah, I mean, you know, do some crunches. Okay. Do some do some uh, the things where you just sit there. I can't think of what they're called. Uh, watching TV. Yeah, watching TV. <laughs> I do that a lot, where I just sit there. There you go. Uh, also, from uh, experience, the best weight loss method is uh, crippling depression and anxiety. Yeah, no, no, actually, there's I think people getting a tapeworm. There's Yeah, there's other ones. Yeah, tapeworm works well for weight loss. Also, I have crippling depression and anxiety, and I still have a gut, so you're lying. When I get super <laughs> depressed, I can eat eight pizzas. An unlimited nachos. Depression. And what's great is after each of those, you hate yourself. You eat more of them. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I hate myself for eating a pizza. I'll eat a pizza. Yeah. Fuck you, me. Yeah, the That'll food. show the you, you piece of shit. Unlimited food eaters. Yeah, because I know that it, it makes me sadder, and fuck me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> high five. <laughs> <laughs> Zappity. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Dan Lasmer asks, uh, are you going to play the Reigns of Castamere at the wedding next weekend? <laughs> I'm not sure now I am. Playing. The Tower of Joy is in it less than an hour. Yeah! High five again. Tower of Joy! <laughs> What, what's the rain? I mean, the rain to cast rain song. That's the song, but I mean, what's what wedding? His my my stepdaughters. This oh weekend. yeah, because you're not going to. Uh, I'm not yeah. going to MomCon. Instead, yeah. I'm going to play the rain to cast at their wedding and then stab his family to death. <laughs> well, no, you got to have like everybody. Oh, you got to get the wait staff helping you out. With I that. can do it on my own. I believe in myself. <laughs> believe in you will achieve. <laughs> Zappity. <laughs> Oh, and uh, somebody discussed about uh, adopting uh, bulimia with uh, Brian today. Bulimia is gross. Well, here's what yeah. I was thinking. I brought this up to Raylene. I already have really bad teeth just because mm-hmm. of no brushing habit. I never built that habit, and, and I, I try. I have mostly crowns, so at, this, yeah. at some point. I'll be like, all right, I'll brush my teeth today, and it'll bleed, and I'll spit out blood, and it's terrible. I'm like, that's all right. That's normal because of I do not brushing. So I just need to brush for a week, and eventually the gums will grow, and I'll stop bleeding, and so then I don't 
for six months and then I brush my teeth one day again and that's my brushing habit is that I just never brush my teeth because I'm terrible and they all just fall out of my face and it's terrible. So the point is, is since my, I told everybody, I'm like, my teeth are already terrible so there's really no downside to bulimia if I just took it up. Because one of the main downsides is that the, the, the stomach acid rots your teeth. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Correct. nah, I'm already there. So like, why not? I mean, you have defeated one of the purposes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know any other downside of bulimia other than bad teeth and fuck it. <laughs> you just say your English. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So my yeah. recommendation is bulimia. He's <laughs> <laughs> happy. Uh, Crumble. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best way to freeze yourself until Mark Three comes out? Put your head in, a, in, the, in the freezer. Put a head. Put your head inside a microwave. Get yourself a tan. Yeah. Whatever it is, before you do it, just give me all your models. I'll, I'll hold on to you until you get thought out. Not you. I'll hold on to them. I'll hold on to them until you get thought out. Hold on to him. You too. Hug. Happy. Grumbo. All right. Is there any point continuing to learn a new faction before Mark Three? I would not know why you'd want to do that with your time. No. Is it called Guild Ball Faction? Maybe that. <laughs> but I don't know why you want to leave another. I mean, yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, just be aware that stuff might change. Yeah. Might. I mean, there's. I mean, their general rules will probably like, probably remain the same ish, but yeah. I mean, yeah. No, the game is dead. Move on. See you in a month. Yeah. <laughs> Zappity. Crumble. Uh, somebody was asking which Brian was going to be on the podcast. <laughs> that Brian. one. Yep. Hi, I'm Brian. Yep. Uh, you're in a Game of Thrones. How long before you die? Who do you try to make your ally? Um, I think it's almost probably better to be, be solo in the Game of Thrones than it is to have an ally because it seems like every person who has an ally in that in that show or book gets killed. Not Pod. Pod's awesome. I, I would be a random peasant desperately hoping not to get raped to death by raiders or die of dysentery. Like, I'm, I am not even drawing attention probably, to myself. Probably, like, in the center. Like, nowhere, not near King's Landing, nowhere near Winterfell. I'd be that guy telling the, the story that, the that Sir Robert Strong pays a visit to last week. <laughs> Sir Robert Strong, noted human. I want to go live in Highgarden because the books don't really go there. And it seems like a nice place to yeah. live. Yeah, that's, that's definitely... Like, yeah. The yeah. random peasant in Highgarden got a good life. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm going to Highgarden. I'll live as long as I can. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely not go out to uh, Marine, is it? I would yeah, not no. be out there. No. No. This is just random people killing people because, you know, like, we love our slaves. Slaves killing slaves, masters killing masters, slaves killing masters, masters killing slaves. Good times. Yeah. No. Zappity. Zappity. Crumble. That's it. All right. Off the recommendations, and we should do that quick. I recommend that you get grilled chicken at KFC. Like, so they had the original and extra crispy, and I always pick one of those. And then they built, they came out with the grilled, and I'm like, well, fuck you. I didn't come here to eat healthy. Fuck you. So one day I only had, what are you doing like a chicken with? What is this? Grilled. What are you doing? Grilled chicken. Yeah. Bacon. Grilled chicken. No, not not a double down. So like, so I only had like 200 calories left on my day for my fitness pal, and I really just wanted to eat something terrible. I just needed protein. I needed some meat. And so out of desperation, of nuts uh, you have a bag of nuts. Bag of nuts. Bag of nuts. Eat some nuts. But I wanted some fucking meat. I just I, I was craving, and I only had like 200 calories left. Yes, yeah, penis joke. But I look at some nutritional things, and like. Uh, a drumstick at KFC, if you get original or extra crispy, it's like 200 goddamn calories. Mm-hmm. Grilled, 60 calories. Yeah, yeah. You know, the the thigh was like 70 calories. I got a two-piece thigh and, and drumstick, and I got some green beans, and then I just threw out the biscuit because I didn't have the calories for it. And that was like 150 calories. Like, that's half of what just a, mm-hmm. a cheeseburger is at McDonald's. And I'm like, all right, it's going to taste like shit, but whatever. And you know what? fucking delicious like it was better than original or extra crispy I mean, their had, grilled chicken was delicious your salt content for the day was through the roof don't but. care but <laughs> the point yeah so the salt content but at least for the counting calories yeah. and if you're gonna eat kfc anyway it was like 300 calories less and right. it was actually really tasty here's my secret to kfc because you are right you can get good stuff from there i just get the popcorn chicken that way it's not as big and then i just eat a bucket of it and i feel better but even though each of them is small, I think you still ate like each, 50 each, pounds each of fried chicken. Like eight eight calories itself, one, you, you, you just cut one. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. 
Yeah. Although a lot of those lights, like eating one cookie or something, is only like 40, 50 calories. No, like, in no some world do you live in where a cookie thin is mint. You just eat one cookie. Thin mint. All right. You, I still got thin mints rolls. left over, and I grabbed one right. of them. Okay, that, that's fine. I'm thinking like a cookie like at a, at a, at a restaurant or a restaurant. No, or those a are like 200 goddamn yeah. calories, like Panera, and it's terrible. A, a Panera cookie is 450 calories. Yeah, don't do that. But like one Oreo isn't that bad, and you get your Oreo craving out of you. I get grilled chicken at Wendy's all the time, and I think I bet I bet Chick Fil A's uh, grilled chicken would be good because they do chicken good. We eat, we're not going there ever for lunch. Or Why? Because that doesn't have a a sort of. We go to food. I don't care about that. We go to Chipotle three days a week. But yeah, we're so uh, try the grilled chicken at your local fast food restaurant. Mine um, KFC originally was the one I was throwing out, but even yeah, Chick Fil A or Wendy's, or whatever, they're I'm, actually good. Uh, I'm gonna I have plans of grilling chicken on the grill tomorrow. So there you go. There you go. Related. I recommend Overwatch. It's so good. I mean, you can't play. If you're not a baby, you have to wait until the 27th of the month to play it. But it's amazeballs. Like, I played it like four hours a day, like a lot of last week. One day left. Yep. Well, I'm busy tomorrow playing board games. Age of Conan. No. Oh. I can't play Age of Conan. You're you playing, guys no, never you're invite me. What's that for? Yeah. We've got a separate group. You, have, you me. have your Shadows group started tomorrow. My Shadows group is not starting tomorrow. Well, we got to get going. Yeah, I know. What's your recommendation, Andy? My recommendation is, I don't remember what it was, uh, Ballers. Ballers? It's HBO show with The Rock and Rob Corddry. It's The Rock. It's, it is it is actually really good. Um, I'm about halfway through the first season. It's it's solid. I thought you said The Balders. No, not The Balders, no. Just not, Balder 1, Balder 2, no. <laughs> but uh, no, Ballers. It's a... Uh, Get your HBO Now or HBO Go and watch it. If you if you were watching Game of Thrones, then you've got HBO Now or HBO Go. The Rock's a pretty safe bet in general. Yeah, he's like, not actually the best part about it. Rob Corddry is amazing. Rob Corddry. Well, The Rock is more the straight guy, and Rob Corddry gets to be the Rob Corddry. Yeah. Kind of. He's I mean, The Rock's kind of not the badass that's, straight yeah. guy, but he's he's nowhere central intelligence level yeah. straight guy. Oh Correct. my god, I can't wait for that movie. I will be disappointed. The movie's bad. I'm saddened. <laughs> the movie cannot be bad. It'll be a national tragedy. It will be. He's not wrong. No? No. I don't have know you seen the trailer right. for Central Intelligence? Oh, wait, yes, I have. I have seen the trailer for that, and it looks fucking hilarious. The Rock looks so happy in that trailer. The Rock is so happy in every... I love The Rock. You know, especially, like, they, the things now I've seen him with the, the Make-A-Wish yep. recently, <laughs> and he was with the kids, and he just has all these stories about how happy he was to meet them and how awesome they are and everything like that and talk about their life. I'm like, that's fucking amazing. I think he really appreciates people. He could have just shown up and signed an autograph and left, but instead he tweets out and, and Facebook. I saw somebody like, oh, how egotistical of him to ha want to get the attention that he's doing. And it's like, no, you idiot. He wants these people to go online and see how happy he was to meet them. That's mm -hmm. even better than meeting him. Or, or get more attention yeah. to the cause. That too. I mean, that too as well. I, but I wish, to be perfectly honest, I wish I was popular enough to be able to do things like that. Yeah, yeah. For, for that type of thing. If I was super popular, I wouldn't help him at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being. You, know, you could be like him. Larry David with sick kids. Yeah, I can keep him away from me. But the Ray of the Rock, <laughs> I think, because he came from wrestling, he came from a thing based around fan base. I think that also helps kind of get him to be more of the people kind of person because he really did kind of, you well, know, like Ryan I mean, he Reynolds. was the people's champion, literally. Correct. Well, like Ryan Reynolds says this all the time too, yeah. with with his with Deadpool. Yeah. Um. I mean. Wrestling in general is really big in the well, Make-A-Wish. John Cena John apparently Cena's. is really huge about it, too. Yeah, I've seen some pretty ridiculously cool things. Yeah, I mean, hate him if you want, but he's, he's done There's a lot of kids There's always certain actors happy. who you find out do these kind of things. I'm like, well, I can't not like them anymore because they spend so much of his time doing these charity things. It's like, yeah. well, you know, free pass, I'll watch the next movie. Johnny Depp was the one I wanted to hate forever. Yeah. I've always wanted to hate him and then i found out more and more you know like him mm -hmm. just a, a girl wrote him a letter talking about how she wanted jack sparrow to leave a mutiny lead a mutiny at her school yeah. so he just showed up in his jack sparrow costume one day <laughs> and just walked around the school and with all the kids who was talking about leading a mutiny and stuff like that just for the fuck of it <laughs> you know or the other one i liked was that he had a a, a like two hour refueling stop at an yeah. airport in his private jet i mean he's got yeah. a private jet whatever but like he was going to be there and he could have spent those two hours just banging supermodels and doing coke in his private jet yeah. but it says like you know what i got time and he went in to the airport and just walked around saying hi to people and taking pictures and signing autographs yeah i would have been banging hookers and doing coke like fuck those peasants <laughs> in the airport any given day that's what i'd rather yeah. be doing <laughs> but it says like yeah let's go make some people happy I was yeah. like, ah, oh, fine i guess i'll like you yeah like the, the Tom Hanks pictures. 
Yeah, <laughs> Tom Hanks taking pictures of like the drunk guy that's passed out. Yes. Yeah. Although that was posed. It turned out the guy's like, here, let me pretend to be passed out. It'll be yeah. hilarious. But even still, it is hilarious <laughs> that he'd go in on it. Yeah. Well, every so often, celebrities do will make... Well, it, it doesn't happen as much now, but back when people were like first getting a cell phone, like doing like the voicemails for, for people or whatnot, just doing yeah. all those kind of silly things was always hilarious. Yeah. It is sad, though, then uh, I think it's... Was it... Uh, what's the comedian, the, the gal's name? Amy Schumer? Yeah. Yeah, Where, yeah, where she her. had like a very, very uh, pushy fan that was... It basically caused her to not take pictures with fans ever again. Maybe it's, sometimes those sometimes those fans are pretty fucking creepy and yeah, you it's know, possible. Yeah, you know, just give them their space. I mean, Flip side, a hilarious thing is to look at uh, if you go online and see the comparison between a photo shoot with Rihanna and a photo shoot with Avril Lavigne. Oh yeah, there's a compare and contrast article, and it's hilarious. Like the main thing, like they build on it, but the basic thing is like the people who have the photo ops with Rihanna, like they pay an extra hundred bucks or whatever to sure. go. Like, the photo ops with Rihanna, like there's women, like other women, like grabbing her boobs, they're grabbing each other's boobs and making faces. She's giving guys piggyback rides like she's doing all this stuff with them and then avril lavigne she's the exact same pose staring at the camera motionless for every single picture while the people are 30 yards away from her on the other side of the room because fuck you she's avril lavigne and again rihanna's just like crazy just just being real giving these people the most enjoyable moment of their goddamn worthless piece of shit life you know like, well, yeah, she's met a hundred fans that day, but sure. each of them has only gotten to meet Rihanna once. With you know? newbie, newbie's photo op, him and his wife, when he met Nathan Fillion and uh, the one brother that's not a Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. well, he is a Baldwin, but not a brother. Not, not you brother, got it but, backwards. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's a Baldwin, but not a brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah like, they had kind of, they, their, their picture would look kind of cool. Like, yeah. they were, those guys were having fun with the fans, you know, exactly. And some of them are like, they have to like, you do not look at them in the eye, do not touch them, do not do anything, yeah. just stand there and look at the camera and get the fuck out. Yeah. Thank you for your $200. Yep. Yeah. No, you need to check out the Rihanna La- Avril Lavigne right. one. After we're done here, I'm going to ask each of you for a favor, and then I'm going to show you Avril Lavigne yeah. and Rihanna. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I guess we didn't mention that it was near the end of the podcast. I thought it was a question, here. not a favor. You, spoiler. The question's going to be, can you do me a favor? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish you would have forgotten now. <laughs> By the way, I was surprised at my surprise party yesterday. Good. I was like, because it wasn't, you know, I was like, what's happening? I was so confused. I was, I was mostly confusion. Which I, led to surprise, because surprise and confusion are kind of the same thing, I guess. Yeah. I thought I thought you would be more confused that I got invited to a board game day with the Shays. Well, I mean, that was confusing, too. <laughs> I mean, it was, it, was, it was like, okay, everyone's kind of together. It's cool. Well, that's right. I tried to sell. It's kind of the old gang together for board games. I thought, that's kind of cool. Well, you know, we've been talking about this group together. When I saw him outside, I'm like, yeah, I guess we're going to play one of Andy's games, because <laughs> the only way that Andy would come if we are playing one of his games. <laughs> Sorry. It was the cliche I knew would sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Uh-huh. And the funny thing is, though, is I, I feel... I feel no, you've been doing a really good job playing other people's games. It's bring just out, old cliches die hard. No, no, it's a the, fun game. I, I figured that Bring Out the Dead would be one of the games that Jeremy would like that I would own. Yeah. yeah. And no. And he's like, yeah. it's okay. I, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Yeah, no, it's cool. I was, I, was, I was like, what's happening? Why are these people here? I saw, I mean, my, my first thought is, this is a lot of people for board games. <laughs> <laughs> and they're saying surprise. What, what, and there's uh, cake and balloons. Yeah, there's cake and there's balloons. There's, like, what's happening? I don't understand. Oh, another recommendation. Don't put fondant on top of whipped cream on top of angel food cake. <laughs> it is the most difficult to slice thing on the planet. Well, angel food cake itself is, is the it's hardest very, it's to, very, to yeah. cut itself. You could, yeah, yeah. That's impossible to cut, but whipped cream does not hold up fondant, and fondant is also impossible to cut. I almost bought myself an angel food cake during the week. It's like, you know, I didn't really do it on my birthday. And I was, like, was going to buy, buy myself a cake and buy some like lip frosting or whatever or some like buttercream frosting to just throw it down there and eat it. But then, like, but then I, went, I was trying to avoid food, so then I didn't. And then I ate too much food, yes. I figured it was a surprise party. I should, I should probably eat some of the food for me because it was, you know, it was, it was there. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to derail everything. No, no, I was like, I mean, I still was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. It was fun. Well, so we have to go see. watch Game of Thrones now. Game yeah. of Thrones. I we need to go. Yes. Bye, right. everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. We are not. Are we, we're not recording next week now. Because um, I mean, there's MomCon and stuff. I won't we, be around. We might do something Monday. Monday. Not 100 percent sure. There, Monday's a working day. Well, we yeah, to, yeah. Well, we could possibly do it without you. That's yeah, fine. But he's also included with me. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. So him and some random people. Yeah. Maybe another oh, vagina you, you, cast. You, Who you knows? Could, yeah, because yeah, because he won't be at the place anyway. Other, other MomCon, you could fill the room with like MomCon. You could get Dan or we'll figure it out. Um, oh, I guess another <laughs> quick special announcement. Um, special. In in June, June 12th, more specifically, we might not be broadcasting live, 
but we will be recording a podcast for that. I will not be in the state, but uh, the folks here will be recording a podcast. We'll get that released as well. It'll be interesting because the 12th is the day the cards come out. The cards will come out until after. So we're, I guess we'll have to meet here at 6 and just hope that stuff is ready. Otherwise, we'll be like, well, I guess we're not recording. Well, I'll just be – like, I won't be in the state. True. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be me and Jeremy and Brian Kerr and maybe somebody else. Somebody else, yeah. But yeah, hopefully we'll be we'll be recording. Hopefully, because once it gets to the internet, we have to also be able to be able to download it. Because I, I have to assume the internet's going to be a little bogged down in the in the world. So yeah, considering the site went down just for a scorn spoiler, yeah. I, I don't know how well War Room's going to handle. But our goal is to podcast that night and then get the podcast out ASAP. You know, within the next day. I'm going to die. So I'm going to be driving across the country, and I'm definitely going to be reading all of the factions' <laughs> cards on War Room with my left hand while I'm driving with my right hand. Make her lean. Hold the the tablet for you. <laughs> Not make her drive. It's make her hold the tablet. <laughs> That's your solution. <laughs> I was being nice to make her drive. <laughs> yeah, she's a woman. You don't want her driving. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a man distracted is a better driver than a cause, woman. Because <laughs> that's just going to be you're going to die either way. It's either yeah. she's driving or you're reading. Uh, yeah. While driving. At least she's not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs>